An acorn doesn't fall far from the tree. We need a regime. With only 25 days to go to elections, Senator Obama's ties to Bill Ayers and Reverend Wright are getting another look. We have brand new polls that show what impact it's having on his candidacy. New Fox polls out today. Ask voters if Obama's ties to Reverend Wright and Bill Ayers impacts their vote. Voters were asked if they believe Obama really didn't know about Reverend Wright's controversial sermons. 40% of Democrats compared to 15% of Republicans believe he really had no idea. Voters are also asked if Obama's connections to Bill Ayers impacts their vote. 83% of Democrats said it doesn't, while 62% of Republicans say it does. We now continue with former Clinton advisor Dick Morris. Dick, this, you, you hit on a very interesting point going out of this break, and that is that uh, now the focus is on Obama. Uh, McCain has kind of become sort of the, you know, the afterthought, if you will, in terms of scrutiny. What do you think that scrutiny is going to lead to? Just how much scrutiny do we expect to see uh, of Obama over oh, the next few weeks? A lot, and he's in trouble over that. Uh, we talked uh, on the show two days ago about the uh, the Annenberg grant, mm -hmm. where essentially he believed in giving away money, not for academic achievement, but for political advocacy, and that he thought that the real problem in Chicago schools was a lack of connection between the school and the community, and that community involvement and political activism could deal the, with the right. problems. By the way, it incurred there was no improvement in student learning as a result of that yeah. program. But now there's, a more, there's another issue, just as significant. This guy was the general counsel to ACORN in Illinois, he, his campaign now has paid ACORN $800,000 for its political activities as a contractor. Mm -hmm. And he distributed millions to ACORN when he ran the Education Challenge. ACORN is, has been raided by the FBI in four states and is under investigation in 11 for systematic and deliberate perpetuation of voter fraud. Now, I don't know if we'll get close enough in this election for fraud to be a factor. But the idea that he has supported, been involved with, been counsel for, and been and funded an organization and continues to fund an organization that registered a person 16 times well, th and knowingly, knowingly did it, I think is going to be a big issue. Well, these associations l raise a very interesting point for me, and it was raised today um, at an event I attended in Florida for Lieutenant Colonel we Alan West, who's running for Congress in the 22nd District. And the co and Lieutenant Colonel noted that, you know, Obama's running for President of the United States, you know, it's a job application to the American people. If he were running for any other office in the federal government, he wouldn't get the job because he couldn't pass the security clearance because yeah. of his associations. With it, with it, it's an yeah. amazing irony in this in this yeah. campaign, that, and it, I think it now, speaks to the the relevance of associations um, for certain using types the word of associations. I don't think that that's an appropriate word because it leads to the concept of guilt by association. Right. I am not worried that he is associated with heirs. I'm worried that he spent fifty million dollars of money heirs got for heirs' political agenda, and I don't want him running the Department of education if he believes academic standards are not as important as right. radical activity. Right. He w is going to run the Justice Department and his campaign is now giving $800,000 to it's an organization right. dedicated yeah. to the perpetuation of voter fraud. Dick, uh, I think those are issues that have nothing to do with association. You've, uh, we've talked a couple of times on the show about the Annenberg group and what happened there and it turns out that it wasn't Ayers who got him into that group, it was Deborah Leff, who was an attorney in Chicago. It wasn't Ayers that did it, it was Deborah Leff who put him on the board, nominated him. Pat Graham uh, is the one who nominated him, actually. Leff recommended him to the company or to the organization, and the original Annenberg board, including Lenore Annenberg, the wife of Walter Annenberg, approved him. Now, is she the, consorting with terrorists, there was, the um, Annenberg? It was an eight-man board that approved him. The money was gotten by William Ayers. It was his brainchild, his idea, and he wrote the grant application. And Obama ended up being the head of it. Now, we aren't going to be able to go back to 1995 and find out behind the scenes what role each person played. But we do know, and it's not important, what we do know is the purpose of this money was to radicalize and politically activate the students of Chicago. And that he had gotten 50 million bucks to do that, raised another 60, and then distributed the money to Acorn and other radical the groups. The money came from the Annenbergs. The mm -hmm. Annenbergs, as you know, Reagan ambassador, Reagan friend. Yeah. So the Annen are sure. the Annenbergs an a consorting with a terrorist I'm, I'm not and giving money to a terrorist to distribute money no, no, for no. radicals? No, again, I don't care in terms of this thing that Ayers was a terrorist. That's something else. 
What I care about is he has a messed up view of education, that he believes political activism is more important than reading scores. Money, no, they know where their money was going. It wasn't it, didn't not, they know where the money I, was going? He's not running against Annenberg. I don't care to give a darn about Annenberg. I don't know if he was on top of it, if he knew what was going on. I don't know the guy. I don't trust the guy. I have no relationship with him. But I know about education. Okay. And my feeling is that the money that we have for education should not go for radical political activity, but should go for reading and math. Uh, an acorn doesn't fall far from the tree.